Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you MIDI track offset in Reaper. Now this feature has just been added in Reaper 6. So if you're using an older version of Reaper, it's not going to show up for you. But I have a project in front of me here with a couple of MIDI tracks. And as you can tell, there's a problem with both of them. Let's hear it. As you can tell, both tracks sound late, but I've already quantized the MIDI, so that's not the problem. Very often, virtual instrument plugins play a bit later on playback, because the sound kind of fades in, as we can hear with this pad. It fades in, so it sounds a bit late, but we can still fix that using track offset in Reaper. Let me show you how. On the pad track, we'll go to the routing, and right over here, we could turn on playback time offset, which we can move forward or backwards to put this track in time with the rest. So what we have to do is adjust it until it sounds right. Let's give it a shot. That sounds a lot better to me. We push the track a bit earlier, 170 milliseconds, and now it sounds more in time with our click and our drums. Let's try the same thing with the strings. Open up the routing on the string track, turn on playback time offset, and adjust it. Notice how much more it's in time with our drums. Before, it's kind of a mess. After, Much better. Now we don't have to do this with every MIDI track in our project, just the ones that come in late, that tend to fade in with a slower attack. But all we have to do is slide it earlier using playback time offset 
on each track. So that's pretty much it. That's MIDI track offset in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!